Okay, so a cell with an EMF of 2 volt and negligible internal resistor resistance is connected across 1 meter length of uniform resistance wire XY. The free end of the flying lead can be connected to any position on the wire. Okay, fine. This is a typical case of potentiometer. Potentiometer is a device. So we need not to go into detail of that, but it is a device and there we are using these kind of equipments. And this is generally known as a jockey because it uh, moves, it keeps on jumping around the wire. So what is the voltmeter reading when the flying lead is connected 0 0.25 meter from the end X? Okay, fine. So in such kind of questions, uh, my dear students, uh, there is a concept that V is equal to IR. And R is given by C. Current will be constant. It will be having a constant value here. If there will be a constant resistance of this wire. Because there is a total length of wire. There has to be a constant resistance. It is not varying now. But this voltmeter is ideal. It would be having infinite resistance. And current will not be entering into it ever. This is the characteristic of a voltmeter. Ideal voltmeter means that the resistance of the voltmeter is infinite. So no current will enter into that branch. It means I current will go from this. It will go like this and it will all the complete current will enter into this wire. It will go like this only. Although there is a connection at X, but the current will not enter into the other branch. Having said that now, so there is no current here. So it is the voltmeter is used just to tell you the potential difference across the two points. Very simple. So you can divide these resistances into two parts. One is this, another is this, and later we can find. And otherwise, a simple method is also there. So V is equal to IR, I, and R is equal to resistivity into L by A. I hope you know this formula. So voltage drop is found to be directly proportional to length which becomes linear variation so the total of two volt potential is dissipated from the point x to point y in a linear fashion like this so this is the voltage this is how the voltage is reducing so with respect to length the voltage is reducing with respect to length the voltage is reducing and here it becomes zero so it started with 2 and here it is 0. Now he is asking like if this is 0 0.25, what will be the voltage difference? So in such a case, we just divide it like by this, that it will be 2 volt if the length is uh, 1 meter. Uh, we take the ratio there, huh? No? Uh, v is directly equivalent to L. So it will be V1 by V2 is equal to L1 by L2. So V1 2 volt. V2 we don't know. L will be taken as 1 and now you are taking 0 0.25. So hence V2 value is coming out to be 0 0.5. So our answer will be B. I hope I am clear in this question. It's a very simple question. It's a straightforward um, uh, directly proportional relation. V is directly equal to L. You reduce the length by 0 0.25 and you reduce the potential difference by 0 0.25. That is the concept. So it will be 0 0.5. Let us verify the answer once from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer in the mark scheme given is B. So if there is any other doubt in this, because there must, there can be, Please let me know in the comment section. All the best.